Now for this question, we have a teacher who has 10 students. Now he created an array called students, which is this, it's given in the question, and he's missing some of his student names. So you've got one here that's missing, one here, one here, and so on. So what we need to do is we need to create an algorithm that checks each index in the array. Because it says checks each index, we're going to need to use a for loop that loops through the array and checks each index in the array. So for x in range from 0 to the length of the array, this will loop through the entire array. Once we've done that, we need to check if that index position, so if student x, so it starts with 0, x starts with 0, so it checks Tom first, is equal to empty. Now if it's empty, then we need to do something. If it's not, then we do something else. So firstly, if it's empty, what we need to do is we need to ask the user for the name of the student that's missing. So it will check that first, then that. Now that's missing, so it will ask him for a name. And then what we need to do is we need to put it inside that. Now to do that, we need to use students x. So student x, that's going to be index 1, because the first one is index 1. So index 0, is going to be false, so it's not going to go inside if, this if statement. Then it goes to this one. This one is true, so it will add a name to this index, which is 1. So once x reaches 1, it will add name to it. So the user's answer. Now this will keep looping until the end of the array. Once it reaches the end of the array, it would have added all the names. Then it will display the array. Now I'm just going to run it. I'm just going to put some random letters at, for the names. So you can see it filled everything in. So everything that was missing has been filled. 